Okay, in number 43, we have x squared minus 2x over x squared minus 3x minus 4 times x squared minus 25 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Then we are dividing x squared plus 5x over 5x squared plus 10x plus 5. That seems like a lot, so we're going to start with just these first two that we're multiplying. We'll deal with the division last. So if we're dividing, if we're multiplying these first two, let's factor them first. I can pull an x out of the numerator, and that's x minus 2 over We have x and x, and then I have a minus and a minus, so I know that my higher number is a negative, my lower number is a positive. So what times what gets me 4, but subtracts to get me 3? I know factors of 4 is 4 and 1. Negative 4 plus 1 gets me negative 3. Now I'm going to factor the numerator on the other side. x times x, so perfect squares. So I know it's minus and plus, and perfect square 25 is 5, over x times x. Then I have minus again, so I know my higher number is um, negative, my lower number is positive. So what times what gets me 5? Five? 5 times 1, and subtracts to get me negative 4. So looking at this, I cannot reduce anything. So I'm going to have to go ahead and change my division then. So I keep these. And actually, I am going to simplify. I can reduce those out. And it leaves me with x minus 2 over x minus 4 times x plus 1 times x plus 5 over x plus 1. Now I'm going to do my keep, change, flip. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to change my division to multiplication. Then I'm going to flip. And I'm going to factor out why I flip. So I can pull a 5 out of that. And that will leave me with x squared plus 2x plus 1 over and I can pull an x out x plus 5. This one right here is not factored though. So I'm going to need to factor that. So I'm going to look at have my 5 out here still. I know that x times x and they're all positive. 1 times 1 gets me 1 and 1 plus 1 gets me 2. So I'm going to replace that here. And I'm going to put 5 over x plus 1 times x plus 1. Again, with these, you want to take your time and go step by step. So now we're going to look at what we can reduce. We know that x plus 5 and x plus 5 can be reduced. 
Then we know x plus 1 and x plus 1 can be reduced. Then we know x plus 1 and x plus 1 can be reduced. So on top, that now leaves us x times x minus 2 times over times 5 over x minus 4 and I see that I can still reduce x and x so now I'm going to distribute that 5 so 5 times x is 5x 5, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 over x minus 4 your final answer is 5x minus 10 over x minus 4 I know that was a lot of work, but if you just take it step by step, just as I've shown you here, and make changes as you go, you will be fine.